Now, one charge against Vega raising a lot of questions today, abortion. According to prosecutors, that's being pressed against him because there's no murder charge on the books in New York that covers the unborn. News 10 ABC's Lindsay Nielsen determined to learn more about that part of the story. She continues our live team coverage. Lindsay? Lydia Vega does face that abortion charge, which claims he intended to cause the miscarriage of Vanessa Milligan and his unborn child. The family of Vanessa Milligan now asking if that law can be changed. I took that question to one local legislator and an attorney today. They both say it's a debate that's been ongoing in the state. I want this case to go to legislators and I want them to change the law so that way Alina Brielle can have justice. The family of Vanessa Milligan struggling to understand why 18-year-old Gabriel Vega was charged with the murder of Vanessa, but not the on-again, off-again couple's unborn baby. Well, she was due to have a baby that Thursday. According to New York State law, a fetus is not recognized as a human being until it is born. Attorney Terry Kinlan says changing the law means bringing up an argument that goes back decades. You've got the, the debate that's been raging since... Roe versus Wade back way back in the early 70s and the question is um, when does a fetus be become a human being? Some states say a fetus is a human being at conception. Other states like New York say not until birth. Kinlan says changing the law would mean amending it, something he says another state is currently trying to do with the personhood amendment. It amends the state constitution to read that the inalienable right to life of every human being at any stage of development must be recognized and protected. Assemblyman John McDonald says he believes there is a loophole in the law, but says changing it would be tough. The state has had difficult times coming to a conclusion. There's something wrong. It calls for an increased penalty. McDonald says he does plan to look into this issue, and the Rensselaer County DA's office is asking lawmakers to do just that. Live in Lansingburg, Lindsay Nielsen, News 10 ABC. Thank you, Lindsay. And Assemblyman John McDonald, who you just saw in her report, is running for re-election this year. So we reached out to his Republican opponent, Carl Gottstein, to get his take. He is also in favor of changing the law, and a statement from him reads in part, the fact the law does not currently exist to charge Gabriel Vega with homicide against the late-term unborn child of Vanessa is an indicator of how little respect New York currently has for unborn children.